Yeah. Zaf looking at the notes, being like, Sim is a bitch, he's a stretchy arm, loser, and he's I'm gonna no win. No more joking around. And Dan being like, I wanna eat some food. What's for dinner? What did I eat earlier? <laughs> Gotta be ramen? No, Goku doesn't eat ramen. Goku eats large bowls of white rice. And meats. I haven't watched any Dragon that's Ball, so I can't make any did comments. You did you tell me that was racist? That's not racist, it's in the show. All right, so. I like that, I like this uh, down forward light punch. Nice oh, punish. What a good punish. I really, I, I'm excited for this. Oh, Dan with the yep. back forward. I really like that. Zap's paying oh, attention. I like that fierce. Zap. He already got him in the corner, and it's less than 10 seconds in. You saw Zap just sit there? I really like that. That was very good. What a good uppercut catching him out of the air. Something most players do not do yep. against any character. Very, very good. Well, also, these two players know each other very well, so. They do, but it is it is a mark of someone who is very, very on point with what the other person is doing. Oh, that didn't quite chip him. Like that. that was very close, though. Zafarina still could take this very easily. Dan still fighting yep. back. I hate that use of meter. Yeah. I'm telling him loud enough so he can hear me. I don't know if fireballs Sorry. were the safe choice there. I, Especially since I he was actually, in chip range. I don't actually mind the fireball choice. It's the use of the EX fireball there that really bugs me. Um, Dan will always fight it out, and I understand that, but EX fireball there without a teleport, unless he's really looking for some conditioning, I just feel is a waste of resources, that's all. Okay. Um, but I see what you're saying in the chip range. I'm having some deja oh, vu right now. Dan oh. just getting out. All right. Dan is pretty comfortable in the corner. Like, Dan. everybody gets mauled, but Dan is surprising. Well, you have there. to be if you play Dalsim. That's true. Yeah. Dalsim and Guile, you have to get used to that corner. Unfortunately, many players who play them are not. Yeah. <laughs> Good back short. I like that keeping him out. Focus attack by uh, Faye doesn't really pay off here, but um, he's still got to keep representing it. It's just so fucking good. Oh, nice. Good snipe, snipe. bad snipe. Kids, oh. we, have, we have literally right next to each other. Good snipe, bad snipe in the series of six seconds. This is what you do, this is what you don't do. Sim. Oh, wow. Lucky good D is read. sitting on full bar. Bad uh, conversion. I don't know if I would jump as freely with that full bar. Oh, the super. I don't know if I would jump as freely either, but at the moment it's not that bad for him. Yeah. If he stays on the ground now, it's really good. Like, yeah. if he does not choose to jump anymore, I love the options of what he did. I think he could also punish Rekka's with that super, so he needs to be careful. That's true. Yeah. Because uh, it's a four-frame startup. Can it? It's a... It's it's a four-frame startup, and I think they nerfed to the Rekka's. It's minus four, there. but I think if he does it at tip range, it won't punish. I'm not oh, sure. yeah, for sure, yeah, if it was meaty. Oh, oh, oh wow. wow, nice, that he was, got out. That was amazing. That was good on both okay. sides. I actually really like both oh. sides. Oh! Dan is playing Third, third Strike. strike. <laughs> Dan is playing Third Strike, the greatest game of all time. The greatest all right. game of all time. Dan was on point there. He third made sure strike. to. Third Strike. Keep an eye on Zap just in case he got Damn. out. He did get out. And Dan channeling nice the god Kuroda, the lord and savior. Thank you, Kuroda. Game one goes to Lucky D. Zap Damn. always likes AJ to take calling his out time the crowd, telling matches. them they're dead. Bonge looking at his phone because he's got more important shit to do. What up, Bon? Oh, where'd the anti-hero go? Where'd the, finish, where'd the uh, rest I of the Rekkas go? That was a little messy over there. Yeah, this is I don't like it. Can we start over? Oh, that's good. Go. All right, now, now Zaf's getting in a rhythm. Going for the... Oh. In all of these games, Zaf can get uh, Lucky D into the corner in the first 10 seconds really easily. I've noticed that when Zaf likes tension is usually after that jump, uh, the neutral jump roundhouse. He doesn't seem to do it off a lot of other setups. Um, I get it. It puts him in a good range. I just think he might want to add a different... Lucky D is not really happy good. about his performance. No, nope. Dan disappointed that he got hit so much. Understandable. Not making the right reads, but it's okay. Oh, oh I like it. that was amazing. That jab was very, very smart. Using the focus, getting out, but not safe. Ooh. Ooh. That was very good use of EX Fireball to push him out a little bit. Fortunately, he gets thrown. Now he's asking to get a setup. No, oh, nice. Dan. Jump there. He got himself out of the corner. Risky mummy, but he. Or drill, but he gets out. 
throws the fierce. Ooh, nice hand here. Ooh. And Zaf now gonna press his advantage probably. I I'm surprised. I expected EX Chicken Wing, not EX Rector. Yeah. Oh, what a smart decision on Zaf's part. Using that close roundhouse to get him out of the tower. I really like that. Oh, wow, well and Zaf plays that yeah. very well. Dan needing to do a little adjusting. Um, Zaf is kind of playing in a range where it's really dangerous for Dan to make, uh, make big reads at the moment. Because even though Faye won't get much at that range. Which range? It, it's it's almost like three into four. Okay. Um, it seems like, like Faye won't get much, but the fact is that he can threaten with Chicken Wing, and if Dan commits to something big, Faye has been just sort of using his bar to like wreck him once he just oh, walks nice a little out of that there. Yeah, you don't really want to just do chicken wing. Chicken wing is more like a reaction move. Most certainly, but he has, he is like, the threat of it has been, um, I think is powerful here. That being said, Dan sort of adjusting yeah. the range to get a little more payoff for what he's doing. Dan playing very careful. Yeah. Dan reacting very well. Ooh. He's playing much faster in this round. Oh, nice. Very good. And then he slowed it down. Yep. Which was uh, really key. Good adjustment. Zaf's been doing those point blank uppercuts a lot. and Match point for Dan. Oh, good throw. I am surprised, but I think that may have actually been a tech. Dan does stand tech a significant amount, and Zaf has been throwing. Well, when you're Dalsum, you're forced into a position where sure. you have a lot of frame traps done against you. So. Sure, and Knowing I don't begrudge him. Yeah. I just think I just think that may have been a tech uh, situation. Dan not getting punished for these whip buttons. Ooh, he was I'm having good surprised. space control there, but Zaf was able to get in with EX records. Dan trying to get out of that range. Zaf moving forward, oh, trying to get within a uh, low strong range. This is not looking good for Dan right now. I'm very surprised to see Oh, no confirm. That's unfortunate, because if he had gotten that, that was a big damage. Nice. Oh, Ooh, very wow. good. Nice face. Oh, he goes oh, to the nice. other side. Doesn't believe. Does not believe. He thought No he confidence there. Wow. And that short just whipped. Oh. One opportunity. Yeah, you need to be careful of those counter hit crouch. And he chips him out. It was a good crowd forming. Yep. Everybody watching, want to see who wins? Ooh, oh, very nice. good low fierce. I really like that. Those were some good footsies there. Good jump in, catching Dan's. Uh, I think that was Stan forward. Oh, and he catches him in the air. Almost gets him with a uh, walk back frame trap, but it doesn't hit. Dan with an input error, and this is bad. Oh, it's wow. Done. That's done. Unfortunate. 